Potatoes are one of the best things that you can be eating for weight loss. I don't care what anybody says. However, there is one caveat and that is how you prepare them. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best and worst ways to prepare potatoes for weight loss. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stasia. In today's video, we are going to be getting into it about how to prepare potatoes so that they are the perfect weight loss food. Now, I recently just put out a video explaining about why potatoes are the most perfect weight loss food. So if you haven't seen this video, then I will have that linked in my description box below. But today's video, we are going to be learning about how to prepare them so that they actually are good for weight loss. Truth be told, the only reason why potatoes have a bad reputation in the first place is to do with how we traditionally make them. So with just a little bit of tweaking, they can go from one of the worst foods you can eat for weight loss to one of the very best. All right, but before we jump into that, I just wanna let you know that if you are in need of some more oil-free recipes, potato recipes included, maybe because you are also on a weight loss journey, or maybe you're just in need of some more inspiration, some more delicious recipes, if you're kinda bored with what you're eating, then I have good news for you because right now I am running a summer special on all of my weight loss recipe eBooks. They are all only five bucks, five bucks, including this bundle package that has over 80 oil-free recipes in there. And believe me when I tell you, they are all super, super simple and really good if I do say so myself. So if you'd like to check that out, then the link to those books will be found in my description box below. Okay, so when it comes to preparing potatoes, that is everything. That is the secret sauce when it comes to eating potatoes for weight loss. So we are gonna rank these from worst to best, starting with the worst way that you can make a potato for weight loss, which is of course, frying them. I'm sorry to tell you that no, this is not the type of potatoes that I am talking about for weight loss. That is the way that we know them best, usually in the form of French fries and nice and deep fried. They do taste great that way, but they don't do anything for our health or our weight loss. Sorry to say so. Deep frying them is usually the number one reason why potatoes have such a bad reputation and people don't typically think of eating potatoes when it comes to weight loss. So deep frying, frying in any way, any shape or form using oil with potatoes are an absolute no when it comes to using potatoes for weight loss. So that is absolutely, definitely the worst way to prepare them for weight loss. Okay, so that was actually number nine. So number eight, is to cover them in sauce. Now, this is probably the second worst way to eat potatoes for weight loss and probably the most common way to eat them in general. So usually when we think of a potato, let's say a baked potato, usually what comes to mind is something like a loaded baked potato with you know, sour cream, if you're a meat eater, sometimes bacon on it, cheese. That's what we think of when we think of a traditional baked potato. That is not the best way to make a potato for weight loss. Sorry to say so once again. In fact, can we even really call it a potato at that point? Because I feel like the majority of the ingredients in that meal is not even the potato anymore, but the ingredients on it instead. So all those heavy sauces and dressings, you know, and add-ons that we usually throw on the potato is the reason that that meal is very calorically dense and is not good for weight loss in any way. All right, so number seven, six, and five on my list are all actually kind of clumped into the same category because the reason is pretty much the same in terms of where they stand. So that would be baking them, roasting them, and air frying them. Now, while these are a far cry from the previous two I just mentioned, they're still not the best way that you can prepare potatoes for weight loss. Now, of course, they're a huge step up because we're getting away from that oil, we're getting away from deep frying them, we're getting away from all of those heavy, dense, and calorically filled sauces, so we're making some progress. But the reason why these don't rank as the absolute best way for preparing potatoes for weight loss is because of the fact that they dehydrate the potato a little bit in the cooking process, and they actually make them a little bit more calorically dense and you don't get the most bang for your buck as opposed to a few ways I'm going to mention a little bit later in the video. 
So I'm gonna try to elaborate a little bit on what I just said there. So let's take a baked potato, for example, or some air fried potatoes. So if the potato started off, let's say at 200 grams in its raw normal state before you did anything to it, once you put it into the oven or the air fryer, then the moisture is going to evaporate out of the potato. So we're gonna reduce that overall water content of that potato. So while the potato itself will still retain the same calories it had when you first started and before you did anything to it, it's actually going to weigh less. So maybe it started off at 200 grams and by the time you're done cooking it, let's say it's 170 grams. So therefore you're still getting the same amount of calories except you're not getting the same amount of food, which might cause you to eat a little bit more if you're not full off of that 170 grams. Maybe you'll need another half of a potato to get the same amount that you would have gotten had the moisture not been removed from it. So with that being said, I do wanna say that I absolutely enjoy potatoes in the air fryer, roasted or even baked. So it's not to say do not eat them this way because those are fantastic ways to eat potatoes and they can bring a lot of joy into your life eating them that way. So please don't be discouraged about preparing them like that. This is just a ranking to show you what is the absolute best way to prepare them if you're really wanting to eat them for weight loss. But all these ways I just suggested are fantastic ways to prepare them as well on your weight loss journey. Okay, so number four on my list is steaming potatoes. So we're getting a little bit closer to home here as far as which potatoes are the best for weight loss. So steaming them is an excellent way to prepare your potatoes, but it is still not the best way for weight loss. And the reason is, is because while you do retain most of the moisture, you are still losing some of that moisture. So going back to the air frying or oven example, you know, you're, you're losing some of that moisture. So then the potato itself is going to become a little bit more dense. But one thing I will say about steaming the potatoes is that it really does retain the flavor in the best way probably out of all the ways to prepare them. So while steaming them is a fantastic way to prepare your potato, it is still not the best way. Okay, so number three on my list. So we're getting there very, very close. And this just happens to be my favorite way to prepare potatoes and how I pretty much eat them almost all the time <laughs> is to use the Instant Pot. Now the Instant Pot has become my best friend when it comes to potatoes and beans. I love the way that they turn out. The reason for this is that it pretty much retains most of the moisture and it is super, super, super soft. I have yet to prepare them in any way that turns out as soft as they do when I make them in the Instant Pot. They're so soft that I literally don't miss anything really added to them. I can just mash them and actually just put a little bit of salt and pepper on them and eat them just like that. That is how fluffy and soft they turn out in the Instant Pot. Using a pressure cooker like the Instant Pot retains a lot of the moisture in whatever it is that you're cooking. And that's one of the secrets of why the Instant Pot makes our food taste so delicious. We don't lose it in the process of cooking like we do on the stove and in the oven. So the Instant Pot ranks number three on my list because it retains most of the moisture. It turns the potatoes into this beautiful, fluffy, deliciousness without any added fats or oils, but it's still not number one. So let's keep moving. All right, so number two, the second best way that you can prepare potatoes for weight loss are to boil them. And let's just think about that for one quick second, why that might be the water content. So it's always going to be about the water content because when we eat these water rich foods, when we're trying to lose weight, they fill us up by having so much water in them without actually having a ton of calories in them. So anytime we eat foods that are rich in water, they're perfect for weight loss. So when you boil the potato, you are not losing any of that water content. In fact, you might even be getting some extra because it's boiling in the water. So this is what makes it almost the perfect way to prepare them for weight loss. But still not quite, we have one more step to go to the ultimate way to prepare the potatoes for weight loss. All right, so the number one way to prepare potatoes for weight loss, it is the number one on my list and the best way that you can do it is to boil them, cool them, and then eat them. Now it might seem like a lot of steps, but I promise you it is well worth it. There has been a lot of studies done showing that when you cook the potatoes this way, let them cool down and then eat them afterwards, that it creates something called resistant starch. And resistant starch is incredible for our health. It's incredible for our digestive system. 
and it really helps to keep you fuller longer than even if you had those air fried potatoes. When you eat them boiled and then cooled, it also lowers the glycemic index of the potatoes, and it actually makes them even more digestible. Resistant starch is also a prebiotic, so it's incredible for our gut health. It increases the feelings of fullness. So when you feel full, then you're inclined to eat less. So it keeps you full longer. And that's what we're aiming for when we're on a weight loss journey. We are looking to lose this weight in the easiest, most effortless way possible. And the most painful way to lose weight is to feel hungry, to starve ourselves, right? This is traditionally kind of the way that we all think of when we think, oh, we need to lose weight. But when you're following a whole food plant-based diet, especially when you're including fibrous foods like potatoes specifically, then that fiber in the potatoes is what's going to help you feel full without having to eat a ton of calories to do so. And an extra little bonus tip is if you keep the peel on the potato and cook it that way, then they become even more fibrous because there's so much fiber in that peel. All right, everyone. So that is my worst to best list of different ways to prepare potatoes for weight loss. Drop it in the comments, which way that you love to prepare them the most and where they fall on the ranking scale. I mean, today's video is just going into the specifics as far as the absolute best way to prepare them for weight loss, but minus the first two, I mean, any of those options are great options to prepare them. The idea is, is that we just want to keep them nice and low in fat, minimize all those extra added calories you know that we usually like to add to the potatoes and you're gonna be good I genuinely think that the best way to prepare them is the way that you're going to enjoy them <laughs> because if we don't enjoy our food then we're gonna have a tough time eating it but if you happen to love boiled potatoes and don't mind taking the extra step to cool them then you are a little bit ahead of the game and it's going to serve your weight loss journey well Having lost the 23 pounds so far, potatoes have been a huge part of that process. So I'm going to be sharing a video very soon showing you guys how I like to prepare my potatoes using a lot of the different methods that we discussed today. So don't worry, it's not just gonna be boiled and cooled potatoes. If you like them air fried or baked or however, there's gonna be lots of different ways for you to see. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel and don't wanna miss that video, then be sure to hit the subscribe button as I'd love to have you stick around especially if you like health and weight loss content following a plant-based diet. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out that awesome book sale. Link is in the description box below, and I will see all of you guys in the next one.